So let's talk briefly about script signing. Now, in order to sign, to digitally sign a script, script uh, which will result, will result in the script having a signature block at the end, something like that right there, you first need to obtain a Class 3 code signing certificate of the authentic code variety. So you can buy code signing certificates in various forms. Microsoft's form is called authentic code and all the major commercial certificate authorities will sell that to you and if you have your own internal public key infrastructure or PKI then you'll have that. Now the really important thing here is to make sure that whatever certificate you plan to use has been issued by a CA that is trusted by every computer where your script needs to run. And to check that out, you're going to hop into Internet Options, go to Content, and click Publishers. And then you've got a Trusted Root Certification Authorities tab. These are all the root certification authorities, or CAs, that my computer trusts. So any certificates issued by any of these guys, VeriSign, GTE, CyberTrust, uh, any of these guys, will be trusted. So if I use a certificate issued by one of them, then my script will be trusted. So uh, if you already have your own internal PKI, then you've companies probably used a group policy to push out its root certificate so that all of your computers trust it. Once you have the certificate, you install the certificate. And usually that's simply a matter of double clicking it. Make sure that you set up a password to access it. You can uh, check out the cert drive right within PowerShell see CD current user will contain my certificates um, there we go my CD my dir and you'll be able to list all of your certificates here you can see that I do not have a code signing certificate installed yet I've only got one that was created by the operating system for EFS uh, the encrypting file system purposes Let's change back to the C drive once you have a certificate installed though you're going to use the set authentic code signature command you provide it the path to the script you want signed, the path using the cert drive to the certificate that you want to use, and well, that's pretty much all you need to do. That'll automatically go into the script, delete any existing signature block, apply a new signature block, and you're good to go. So if you're using the all signed or remote signed execution policy, that's the way you would get a signature onto a script, and you can read more about that in the help about signing topic. Uh, now, if you just want to use the all signed security policy and you just want to run scripts on your local machine, then this topic will actually walk you through creating a self signed certificate. It'll only be trusted by your local computer, but it will allow you to operate in the all signed execution policy mode without going and buying a certificate or having one issued to you by your internal PKI. <laughs>